All right, we are live. What's going on, T-Shirt Millionaires? I'm Charles Smith the Third, the host of the T-Shirt Millionaires live show. And listen, we got a special guest in the building. Y'all already know him, Stan the Man, Stan from T-Shirt Side Hustle. But today we're not really talking about so much T-Shirt Side Hustle. Today we're gonna be talking about Circle Clothing and how you can use some of these blanks. You know what I'm saying to make sure that you produce quality stuff for your brand. So. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get in this conversation with Stan. It's going to be inspirational and, 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 and informational, as I always say. And we'll hit this intro video and we'll be right back afterwards. All right, talk soon. Back at it, back at it. What's going on, T-Shirt Man? That's family. My guy, Stan. What's going on, fam? How you doing, bro? Doing good, man. Can't complain at all. Good, 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 man. So we got a circle clothing conversation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I know a lot of people out there di use different brands, but, you know, circle clothing seems to be one that, that came on the scene. I actually, uh, I was out, I was out in Houston. They, they in Houston, right? Aren't they yeah, in Houston? Yeah. yeah. So I was out in Houston back during the holidays. And uh, that was the first time I heard about circle. And I was like, who is that? And then, you know, just come to find out, it seemed like they had really quality stuff. So tell us about who they are, man, and who is Circle and what they have. So I kind of like uh, back up to how I found them, right? So they reached out to me in the beginning of the pandemic with some masks. And yeah. uh, I didn't use them at the time because I, I was selling my own masks, doing different things like that. Uh, so nothing happened. And long story short, what happened was that one of the people who run the, run the company, their niece or daughter told them about me as they were looking to market so how this was even you know she doesn't work for the company or anything she's like well y'all should get in contact with this guy Stan and like, just found me from my YouTube videos or whatever the case was right. uh so fast forward the world ran out of black hoodies right uh there were floods in Honduras which caused a lot of backup for Gildan and you know Gildan owns a lot of other companies as well or a lot of other brands in the industry Right. Uh, but a lot of production has slowed up. And with that being said, there was a, a shortage of black hoodies and things on the market. He, the guy had texted me up, texted me again. And he was like, Hey, um, I got some hoodies. You need some hoodies boss. And I was looking for a hundred of them right on the spot, literally for my man, JT hustles, another YouTuber. Right. I was looking for a hundred of them. I said, man, send me the, send me, send them to me. Let me see how they feel. And when I got them in the mail, I was just like, yo, these joints is the best. How much are they? They, for real, they're only 11 bucks. It was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, man, these are some of the best quality hoodies. Because usually when you get like a guild in, which might cost you like $9, you're not getting like a fashion feeling. You know, you get one of those hard, regular base hoodies. Uh, so when I when, once he sent me some samples, I ordered my 100 and I started that order. Uh, but then I said, hey, man, if you guys are looking for black hoodies, here's a place with great fleece at a great price. Uh, that you can use for your brand or just your customers in general, general and give them a quality product. So that's kind of how I found them. Um, and they're a very, very small company, very, very young. Um, they did a lot of manufacturing uh, overseas in Pakistan and, and, and Bangladesh, I believe, as well, um, for some of the big brands in the world, like Zara um, and some of the other companies that I've seen um, that they did some stuff for. And then they wanted to come up with their own brand as they were doing behind the scenes with their own manufacturer. So they got their own facilities overseas. They just started their own brand instead of manufacturing for different brands uh, about a year. Well, at this point, probably two years ago now. That's hard. OK, so you stumbled on the brand. So who are the owners of it? Like, who who are they? Uh, well, I don't know who is. It's a family. Let's just OK. It's a okay. family. Um, Ahmed is the guy that most people would talk to here who, who runs the facility here. Um, and then, you know, they're, they're actually, one of them is in Dubai. He has another company, okay. uh, which is pretty cool. So when I went there and I got to sit with them, a lot of times when I go visit companies, I'm not really talking about the product too much. I'm trying to learn about them and similar to what you do in your interview session. I spend a lot of time to get some of the knowledge behind the scenes. He actually has a rental car company, uh, in, um, Dubai. And uh, so some of those things uh, I've learned about them as well. But it's a brother. One of them does the manages production facility. One of them is like the overall visionary. And then the uncle is the one running it in Texas. 
Dog. Uh, so that's kind of what I've learned about them as, you know, business owners and stuff like that. Okay, that's what's up. It looked like uh, Chantel, she said, I spoke with Ahmad, pretty cool. Yep. Um, I love the tie-dye shirts. Okay, okay. Yeah. So they have, they got tie-dyes? So the great thing about their tie-dyes, and a lot of this stuff, listen, when I say they're only like two years old. So right now we're putting things, I'm putting things in development. One of the things that uh, has been a benefit to me and in the community is that they entrusted me to Bro, I literally like kind of came in and scrapped the whole idea of what they were going to make. They were going to make the things that everybody else were already making. Yeah. Uh, so one of the beautiful things about the tie-dye that they have is that they're on a nice quality shirt, right? So most of the tie-dyes you get are on like gildens, that hard, that boxy fit. Their tie-dyes are on the same fit and feel that their fashion stuff is, uh, which just makes it pretty unique of that sort, you know? Uh, and right now we're, we're, we're in development for a, a few different tie-dye looks. None of the old ones, they're not bringing any of those back. Um, I probably will fight for two of them to come back and they're going to be bringing in fresh new ideas. Um, and I'm also working on an initiative to get some of the tie-dyes out there to be able to develop custom lines uh, on short run notices and have some, some unique things available. That's good. That's good. That's dope. That's dope. So, that's fire, bro. And I just, that's crazy that you just kind of ran up on them just on some like, just well, random, ran didn't me. even know, you know what I'm saying? It's they crazy how stuff connect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I see, so black, blanks like shirts, right? So, you know, we use, you know, there's a, you know, industry standard as a companies that, you know, a lot of people use, but how do you like the, the, the blacks, like the black tees, you know what I'm saying? The white tees, the navy. You know what I'm saying? Like the standard fit. Like, how are we looking with those? So, I, I run tees on good, better, best model, right? And yeah. good being the lowest tier, like a guild in your, your everyday, um, you know, just your everyday wear, the times like football camps, you give away, you know, the giveaway stuff, uh, the really, really cheap version. Then you got the better, then that's the mid level. That's that fashion fit, not gonna hurt you in the pockets. Um, that's the Bella canvas, the next level circle t-shirt fits right in. Um, they have like 18 colors and I'll be honest, man, I wasn't really going to talk about the shirts, um, yeah. you know, at all ever, but people started to ask about the quality of the shirts, which prepped me. I recently shot the review of these shirts and showed them kind of showed them off a little bit. Um, and the reason I was going to talk about it, because honestly, they're just another, it's just another t-shirt, right. right? The unique thing about these t-shirts are is if you have a business license, a resale certificate, and you're legitimized, uh, you can get these become one of the, they're, they're cheaper than Next Level and Bella Canvas mm. and offering the same similar quality, right? Um, and they come in at $2.76. Wow. Um, and, and that's, hey, first dog, that's that's good, bro. Yeah. That's that's a that's a nice price, straight up. Yeah. So it's, okay. it's generally about 50 cents less. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing volume, that add up. Yeah, so if you don't have a business license, they're tier price. So, you know, you got a different price for a dozen and a under, maybe like uh, a dozen to like, let's say 48, and then 48 to 144. So it's tier-based pricing with you getting down at 300 pieces to that right. $2.76. So, you know, that's where it, it fits both both fields. So if you are legit, you normally shop at like a Bodican Rose, an Alpha Broder, well, Bodican Rose shut down. Alpha Broder, TSC Apparel, uh, one of those Sandmar, one of those wholesale companies, you're used to getting these. A belly camera, so next level is going to come in somewhere around $313 to $3.20 or $3.30, right? Um, so when you have that same credentials, you submit for an account with a circle and it comes in 50 cents less. And you know, in this industry, it's about nickels and dimes, man. About right. saving pennies, nickels and dimes. And we'll bounce around back and forth between Bella Canvas and Next Level or even American Apparel. Um, we'll bounce around between those based on who's offering the best price at the time. Uh, if you're looking for that quality of product, unless, you know, somebody specifically wants a specific brand uh, because they're comfortable with it. But most cases... Uh, a lot of people don't know, or they're just going off of research. But as the experts or what we provide, they'll give us some of the stuff that we need or some of the idea. They'll let us kind of take, hey, what do you think is best? You know, hey, I, I'm, I'm a comfortable. I actually switched my inventory and my bins for custom shirts down here to Circle Clothing to get a better feel for how they would feel. You know, I like to do my research and put them through the test. Uh, so, yeah, they have 18 colors, I believe, at the current moment. And that color palette is going to expand 
Um, I actually was down there when I was there. That was one of the things we were working on, like a full color palette of what colors should be available. Um, so a lot of that stuff is going to be more colors going to be coming. Um, and like I said, man, I, I'm doing things that, you know, I didn't never dreamed I would be doing or thinking of or even, you know, had there was an idea of, of sitting in a hotel room looking at color swatches and, and deciding which hues and which things to go with. So it's pretty dope. Yeah, man, that's that consultant, man. You be out there consulting, man. Yeah, that's man. fire, bro. Hey, so so real quick, you said they can get these at the distributors, or that do people need to buy directly from Circle? So with Circle is right as of right now, there is they are direct. Um, the tie dyes where you can find at some wholesaler I can't disclose, uh, I can't say just because some companies don't like it or whatever the case is. So their product is in some distributors right now. Um, but generally everything is done direct at, at this given moment. Okay. All right. Got it. Cool. Cool. See, I'll make sure y'all go ahead and check that out. Um, so tell me, bro, what's going on with your, with your, with your, uh, building, man. How you, how you liking the building? How you liking the new spot? Oh man, I'm loving it. If I can get it completely finished at any given moment here. Um, yeah. it, it's, you know, it's one of those entrepreneurial journeys and, you had your, you had your your run-ins with it, and we talked about some things. And um, you know, I'm I'm trying to make it my clubhouse, like I recommended to you. Um, and it's just been a process of you know my my the last contract to disappear for the last two and a half weeks at this point. Um, today I had meetings to get some other people on the job and just try to get it finished to move on. And I'm trying to. Um, you know, document the process, man, so people can learn from the experience, right? Yeah. And uh, eventually, I'll be talking about some of the stuff, like the, the, the behind the scenes, of how much money I spend, and all of this stuff, and, you know, just the knickknacks and nuances and things that sometimes you don't even think about, like things pop up and stuff like that. And so, you know, it's been a process, man, but I hope something that everybody can learn from if they aspire to have a retail location um, and, and get some of these things done. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at on that. That's what's up, man. Chantel says something. She said, I really need a link with you, Stan. I had a graphic designer design this fire bear for me and need y'all opinion and insight on it and how I can make it into my brand. I feel this bear is dope and I want to take it to the next level. What would you say to somebody who got like a dope design and they want to turn it into a brand? Oh, man. Well, you know, you don't decide. That's the <laughs> hey, right. hey, that's decide. it. We just gonna stop. We're gonna pause right now, man. Hey, y'all listen to what that man just said. That's a gem right there. If y'all ain't picked that up, I'm gonna make sure y'all pay y'all. Y'all pay attention to pick that up. Tell them again, bro. God, you don't, you don't decide, man. The market decides. You know, you gotta put it out there, put it on stuff, start to wear it. Uh, I think be the brand is the most important thing, right? Why would I support your brand? If you're not, you're not it at all times, right? I, I threw out my clothes a long time ago and I said, I'm not going to rock a t-shirt if I didn't make it or somebody that I know made it or, or, or I attribute to uh, an individual or something like that for the, for, for a reason, right? You got to be the brand, support it. You know, nobody wants to be first. And, you know, once you can show that you'll be good to go. Hey, that's, Hey, that's good stuff. So there you go, Chantel, go ahead and run with that. Put it out there. Uh, let the market go ahead and choose what they got. Uh, you blacked out, fam. You meant to? <laughs> you upside down. I'm going to let you. Okay, we good. Back. So, hey, these hoodies right there, these little metal pieces that's on this joint. For everybody, I got, you know, first off, we got the T-shirt side hustle hoodie on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Courtesy of, you know what I'm saying? But then uh, it got these little metal joints on the... On the circle, I like that. It's so, a circle. Uh, even with 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 those, so the, with the sweat paint, they have a really good set of fleece, right? I talked about that's how I found them, and that's what got me on to to their product as a whole. They have very very good fleece, um, and the hoodies in the future are gonna have metal tips as well uh, yeah, that's to match. Them. So the the jogger pants I have, and listen, everybody who's wore these jogger pants. You know, once they found a size that fits them, they love them. I wear mine all the time. It just got too hot now. Uh, but they have a really, really good fleece. And it's all about the finishing touches. When I say the quality, you know, and the things that we want as brand owners or as just to provide the service to people who want to start brands, you want to make sure you're giving them the finishing, you know, the best quality product that's going to wash well, 
Uh, and their fleece is very, very good. So good that I told them that, hey, they don't even have to switch the, uh, the fabrics up, right? A lot of shorts go to French Terry sometimes. Uh, and there's also the sweat short, which um, we have here as well. So they have a new line of shorts. This is the 8001 uh, sweat short. And oh, right now hard. it's available in um, six colors, I believe. So we got black. We have navy, of course, white, white short, royal, heather gray, and red. So uh, these are the primary colors. Now, when I found circle, one of the things that I wanted to do is to make sure that the basics was always covered, right? So I, I believe these are like the six core colors that we need on a consistent basis. And a lot of times we couldn't find those uh, those colors, right? Like black ran out. Like it's no reason that the company should run out of black, royal, navy, red. And then once we got these bases covered, this is coming up on year two right now that we're in. And this is where we're going to start to expand the color palette. So it's a little late start, but uh, there are there is an 8008 product well, of short, which has a more of a fashion street fit. It's a little shorter. Uh, a little bit more trendy, uh, right above the knee, like people like. And we're doing that in some colors that are going to be very, very, you know, punchy. Uh, some some of those uh, natural colors, some of those brighter spring colors. And then there also is a light hoodie. So there's a, a, a heavyweight uh, hoodie and there's like an eight ounce hoodie, which is a little thicker than a T-shirt, of course, but still fleece uh, that you can wear like summer nights when it's cool out and stuff like that. So. They have a very, very good product range um, to start out with, but I'm excited about what's to come in the future for Circle. Right, right. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, it, it sounds good, man. And, uh, you know, especially, you know, with the, you know, limited supply sometimes the other brands, you know, being able to just have, have comfort that you can sell stuff and then be able to get it out the door because you can get your, your product. You know, that's, that's the important thing. That's good, bro. Good deal. So what else, bro? Like... Everybody in the audience, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you uh, print your own shirts and you buy blanks and different things, just go ahead and give me a one. If you buy blanks, right, go ahead and give me a one. I'm interested to know, you know what I'm saying, who here even buys stuff wholesale, you know what I'm saying, uh, to be able to use an alternative. So if you do, go ahead and hit one. Uh, looks like Chantel says one, and I'm sure there's some others that come up. Cool. So we got a whole bunch of people, bro. Whole bunch of people. Now, does uh, when it comes to printing the stuff, this all applies. It doesn't matter if it's heat press, screen print, DTG. You can use it for everything. Yeah, and uh, when you when you choose a blank, man, you're gonna want to consider these things. And the reason why Belly Canvas and uh, some of these other companies have like blown up is because they want you want retail quality man you want a retail quality finish uh and these products are gonna give you a clean print like you said no matter what you if you're heat pressing them you get dtg you get screen printing they're gonna give you a better finish and feel because there's less fibers man i learned so much about cotton going to visit them and the the, the what what heirloom so these are heirloom uh they use heirloom products which heirloom is if you hold a t-shirt uh, or a product or some cotton, if you hold it flat like this, you can see sometimes cotton balls on them. Very, very small, pretty much unnoticeable unless you look at them from this way. And heirloom is supposed to be one of the, the, the most expensive cottons because it pretty much, the way that it's knitted and, and combed, it uh, like ring spun to us in our mind means soft. Heirloom, right. I'm like, what is heirloom? Nobody's going to know what that even means or what is it? So they had kind of showed me the details of it. And it's very, very interesting, like, to go in to see the cotton and stuff like that. Pretty soon here, with the world opening back up, I feel like I'll be able to get there and go visit the factory and bring us some new information from a different lens, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, that was one of my requirements when I started to work work with them is that, listen, I want to I go to the factory. It's like, I'll do this, but I want to be able to get hands-on and see more and bring back more information so we can learn a lot more from you know, from the, uh, from the, from the products and we'll know more about what we're selling and different things like that, uh, which right. is going to be interesting to see. 
Right, my guy, my guy, always bringing back the information, educating the people. That's what it's about, man. Hey, for everybody watching, um, you know, I know that you're interested in this. Uh, I would advise uh, right now, go ahead and take a screenshot of the screen um, and do circle.tshirtsidehustle.com. That's the affiliate link. So circle.tshirtsidehustle.com. Go ahead, check that out. You know, place your order. Uh, you know, get you some samples, um, and that can be a quality, uh, you know, T-shirt that you have in your lineup. So, what that other announcements we got, bro? Like, what's happening, man? That was that was important. What you just said, man. Get samples, man. I don't care who you get information from or what you do. At the end of the day, you still got to make the best educated decision for your business, right? Like, right. if I feel a certain way about the product, and you still want to order, don't go jumping out the window ordering a thousand pieces, and you have never held, touched. And, and felt the product, and then you get something that you don't like. Now, it, it gets my stamp of approval, you know what I mean, which around has means a little bit because I'm not going to give you guys. Uh, one of the things that I also tested with this stuff right here real quick, and that's the last thing I'll talk about this is, you know, making sure that the color on color matches. To me, the white on white doesn't match. I have a video coming out in detail, uh, but just making sure that you know um, what products look like, feel like. So, uh, I wouldn't order to have a white on white short with a t-shirt. Um, most of the other colors are pretty much spot on, slightly off. And I tried to understand what the differences were and why they were that way. Uh, and it has to do with the thickness of the fabric and the fabric itself. So it's a little bit slightly off. You can get away with it. But ordering your samples, see how you feel about that stuff. And then if you if you like it, you use it, then use it and implement it into your business. That's what I would do. Uh, and that's what I recommend everybody does. Right. No, that's solid. So y'all go ahead and take that advice and run with it. Had a few people ask, say they need this hoodie. Y'all go ahead and get the hoodie. I'm telling you, man, like, this is a nice quality. It's the circle clothing joint. Nice quality hoodie. Uh, it's thick. Um, you know, nice fit. Uh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So Have you washed it yet? Uh no, I ain't watched this joint. I wore it once and then I wore it again. I ain't watched it yet. It's yeah, so, it stay it stay it stay uh good. Yeah, and that was important, right? Like when I got the first one, I washed it and tested it, and it fits exactly the same, which most people are gonna care about and like. Like I seen some other brands in here around, and people ask me about these other brands and, and companies that make fleece and stuff like that. And right. you know, I've used some of them in the past, right? I've used some of them in the past. But then I eventually stopped using them because they shrunk so some of them shrunk so bad or, you know, they they, they held a ton of cotton balls. Man, I wear these things every day. I got some stains on the on the on the hoodie and stuff that I showed you. But it's not like building up with those Lenny cotton balls on the outside. And, you know, it still fits the same. And I, I'm, I'm fine with throwing it in the wash and putting it back on. It's holding color very, very well. So. I put them through the ringer, man. I don't just open a product and say, oh, I like it. No, I put it through the test. I put it through the ringer. Um, and, you know, blanks are important for us, right? When you're selling T-shirts, making sure you're able to give your customer quality blank, use a quality print, all of that stuff is important. Fire, fire. That's good, bro. I love it, man. So, yeah, everybody check that out. Uh, what's, your, what's your entrepreneur tip for the day, man? What's your shirtpreneur tip for the day, man? Oh, man. Don't let people put you in a box. Oh, I think that's man. One, of the, no, one, no. one of the quotes that one of the quotes that somebody repo, uh, reposted in mind was uh, "Don't let people put you in a box, or don't let them make you feel bad for you your success." You know, and you trying to elevate and do different things, man. Uh, sometimes I had to tell this to myself recently: is that like everybody can't go where you're going, but when I get there, everybody's welcome. So sometimes you gotta separate yourself in order to elevate. Uh, in order to get where you want to go and just, you know, sometimes it's a hard thing to do to, to, to cut people off and, and, and create space for new people because you got personal ties and you feel great about them or, you know, they've been around for you. But, you know, sometimes it's not about, you know, cutting people off, it's just about distancing yourself so you can uh, allow for some new relationship to develop in your life that gets you where you want to go. Right, right. And you open up the door later on. Hey, that's that's solid advice, bro. I love that. So, Y'all go ahead and take them gems and run with it straight up. All right, fam. So, look, uh, everybody, again, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, circle.tshirtsidehustle.com. Y'all know where to find my guy. You know what I'm saying? T-shirt, 
Side Hustle on Instagram, T-shirt Side Hustle on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? He always dropping the, the game and putting it out there for us. And as my brother got on his, his, his screen, he's the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I appreciate you sharing us with us, bro, for about Circle Clothing, man. No doubt, man. I'll be back. You know, I'm being regular around here, man. We can just pop yeah. up and hit a topic real quick and, and move on. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. We, we always, man, the door always open, man. Absolutely. No doubt. All right, family. We'll be in touch, bro. Y'all. Hey, real quick, though, bro. What's that in your... Is that a TV? I see them bubbles and stuff in your background. Yeah, man. I'm trying to... Try, you got, hey, listen. You took the idea for you and ran with it. Okay. Now, man. I'm coming. I'm hey, coming. I rock with it. Hey, I rock with that, bro. I saw it changed a few times on me, bro. Okay. Yeah, iron, iron, iron sharp is iron, man. I'm, I'm aspiring to elevate my, my, my production value thanks to you and, and Rich. Uh, oh, and, and I'm glad you guys, Rich is posting more. You know, you got your own twist to the, to the YouTube game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm trying to add a little bit of value up my thing too here coming up. I got some For sure, man. Coming. I rock with it, man. Congratulations, though, man. That big time, bro. Yeah, we'll definitely be in touch, man. All right. All right, fam. We cool. We cool. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So listen, man. I love it, man. I appreciate bro coming on here and, uh, you know, giving a perspective of, you know, something that y'all can use. This is beneficial, man. Like I said, I'm wearing a t-shirt side hustle a hoodie right now, but this is definitely circle clothing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, go ahead, check this out, man. Go ahead and order some samples. Circle that t-shirt side hustle.com and see what it's about. You know what I'm saying? You should be, uh, you'll be very pleased with the quality. And then at the same time, I love the price. I mean, the price is just like a one it's solid. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my guy, he's out there networking with these companies, getting the inside, bringing back the information to the audience, always sharing, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate and respect all the work he does for us. So y'all take these findings, and then don't only take the findings and listen to them. You listen to them. They ain't worth nothing. You know what I'm saying? But listen to them. Try some things out. Implement. And that can elevate what you got going on. So, hey, I appreciate y'all. Y'all go ahead and check that out. At the same time, uh, we got an amazing interview tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the uh, founder of Postscript. So if you enter text message marketing, uh, the founder of Postscript is going to be speaking with us tomorrow. Amazing conversation on the way. Text message is such a powerful channel when it comes to, uh, you know, selling your stuff online. And so we're going to go deep into that tomorrow. I look forward to that interview. Make sure y'all tune in. The next thing is Inner Circle. Listen, we have a marketing Q&A tonight. All right. Tonight at the Inner Circle, we got a marketing Q&A. If you're interested in joining the Inner Circle, we have these weekly activities or sorry, monthly activities, right? We've had Who Wants to Be a T-Shirt Millionaire? Those came out of the Inner Circle. We have hot seats. We have Q&As. Um, we have collaboration sessions. We're doing a monthly challenge all in the name of moving forward to help us grow. If you're interested in checking out the Inner Circle and being a part of a community of shirtpreneurs, all you got to do is go to the comments, go to below this video, go to T-Shirt Millionaires, check it out. You can get a seven-day trial for $1. You can try it out for a dollar. If you like it and you rock with us, then it's $55 a month, but you won't get charged until after your trial. So you got the opportunity to come through, look at the learning portal, check out what we got going on. And if you do like it, rock with us. If you don't, cancel it, no harm, no foul. So that's available to you. At the same time, I had the Shopify from scratch course. So if you're looking to build up your Shopify store the right way, supercharge it, make sure you got the right apps, make sure you can convert, go ahead, check that out. You can see everything below this video. And with that being said, I appreciate y'all t-shirt millionaires. Let's keep moving. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep bringing these visions to life. We at the second part of the year. We need to start getting prepared for the end of the year. We got some great things happening and I look forward to seeing all the growth. With that being said, you can see it with your mind's eye. One day you can see it with your real eyes. Go ahead and go to that link, circle.tshirtsidehustle.com. Check out Circle Clothing. I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace, man. I appreciate y'all.